Atano kipindi cha kawaida cha mwaka Kapuchin TV tutainjilisha na waumini wa Jimbo la Ngong pamoja na Jimbo la Bungoma mtawalia ibada za misa ya Jumapili ya 15 kipindi cha kawaida ni kama ifuatavyo Misa ya kwanza saa na nusu asubuhi Misa ya pili saa na nusu asubuhi moja kwa moja kutoka parokia ya Mama Maria Mtakatifu iliyoko Ungata Rongai katika Jimbo Katoliki Langong. Baadaye saa tano asubuhi tutainjilisha pamoja na masista wa shirika la neema na huruma ama Benedictine Sisters of Grace and Compassion katika Jimbo la Bungoma. Ni katika ibada ya ufunguzi na kubarikiwa kwa makao ya huduma kwa wazee kwenye eneo la Mundika katika Jimbo la Bungoma. Kwa msaada na ukarimu wako kutoka katedrali ya Nakuru hadi parokiani Rongai Ngong na shirikani Mundika Bungoma injili inasonga mbele endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki daraja Sakramenti ya daraja ndiyo sakramenti ambayo mwanamme mkatoliki aliitwa na Mungu hupata mamlaka na neema ya kuendeleza ndani ya kanisa utume Kristu aliyowakabithi mitume wake. Kupata daraja kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738100270. Utume kwa 811. Wa Kristu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru, tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Kwa makaribisho na upendo wenu kwetu wikendi iliyopita, Kapuchin TV tumerejea tena mara hii katika ufunguzi rasmi na kubarikiwa kwa hospitali ya shirika la masista wa Kapuchini wa Mama Robato, Kapuchin Sisters of Mother Robato, kwenye eneo la Kiamunyi, Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru. Ni alhamisi hii tarehe nane Julai kuanzia saa nne asubuhi ibada ya misa itaongozwa na vika jenerali wa Jimbo hilo na Nakuru Padre Cleophas Oseso nayo siku ya Jumamosi tarehe kumi Julai kwa mwaliko wa baba paroko halmashauri na wakristu wa parokia mtakatifu Mikaeli eneo la Kiamaina Jimbo la Nakuru tutakuletea adhimisho la ibada ya sakramenti ya daraja takatifu ya upadirisho Washemasi Isaiah Njoroge wa shirika la mtakatifu Patricio ibada takatifu itaanza saa nne asubuhi ikiongozwa na mhashamu askofu Maurice Muhatia Makumba wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Liturgia Katoliki Sakramenti kuungama Ekaristi sala nyimbo neno la Mungu ibada takatifu Jiunge nasi kila siku ya Jumapili saa moja unusu usiku na Jumatatu saa nne asubuhi kwa liturujia Katoliki na Padre Bonfas Mukwe Mpendwa, tunalo tumaini moja katika bwana moja tuna imani moja katika ubatizo moja tumeunganika kama familia Kapuchin TV your Catholic broadcasting ministry
Kia, kisha kina mama wanamleta baba askofu na CMA na wakifika mahala ambapo mlango wa kanisa unaanza kwaya watachukua na sote tushiriki katika kuimba na atakapofika kwenye altari nitampisha mfawidhi mwenza father kim ambaye atatuongoza katika ufawidhi katika liturgia kisha nitarejea baadaye Tuwasaidia kina mama na makofi makeho wana mudha nyoyo Ni siku ya kipekee Tuamshukuru ya rabi kwa kutupa siku ilio njema Tunapo wadimisha na kuwa mashahidi Katika siku hii ya leo
mtakatifu Yesu Kristo. Na wakaribisha kwa sherehe za upadrisho wa Deacon Isaiah Njoroge na kabla ya kumkaribisha baba paroko anayeondoka ningetaka kuwakumbusha mambo mawili bado covid iko na ukiona mwenzako anakukaribia sana ujue huyo anahatarisha maisha yako let us observe the social distance na barokoa tuwe nayo wakati wote la pili ni kuwakumbusha mkumbuke kuwasha simu zenu baada ya misa remember to switch on your phones after mass wakati huu namkaribisha baba anayeondoka baba paroko anayeondoka father maina ili aweze kuwakaribisha na kumkaribisha baba paroko uh, askofu ili aweze kuongoza ibada ya misa baba askofu moris mohate makumba askofu wa jimbo katoliki nakuru very reverend father victor dan superior general st patrick's missionary society very reverend father sean the regional superior reverend fathers religious men and women na kristo wote mungu ni mwema kila wakati mungu ni mwema hii ndiyo siku aliyoifanya bwana tutaifurahia na kuishangilia ni siku ya furaha katika parokia hii ya St Michael's Kiamaina katika jimbo hili la Nakuru a day filled with joy in this parish as we celebrate our son and i would like before we begin this mass there are two of us who would like to celebrate this day with us here but they are with the lord father joseph kamau ni padre mzaliwa hapa mbariaga dunia baada ya siku 19 za ubadilisho wake father kona moroni ambaye amehudumu katika kanisa na miaka mingi katika jimbo hili na katika parokia hii and he served as a priest for 57 years Naomba tukumbuke roho zao kwa kimya kwa muda wa dakika moja. Raha ya milele uwape e bwana. Naomba Wapumzike kwa amani. Amina. Basi nachukua sasa fursa hii kumkaribisha baba askofu aweze kutuongoza katika misa hii ya ubadilisho wa shemasi wetu Isaya. Tumkaribishe kwa ngemi moja. Mbili. Tatu. Nne. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amani iwe nanyi. Ndugu zangu tumefika hapa kutenda tendo takatifu tendo la kuweka katika daraja takatifu ndugu yetu Isaya ambaye amezaliwa katika parokia hii nashukuru Mungu kwa zawadi yake nashukuru mama yake na baba yake kwa kumkuza katika imani wazazi wake Shemasi Isaya asanteni sana ukitekeleza kazi yenu ya kizazi vizuri. Nashukuru parokia nzima ambayo imemlea huyu kijana mpaka akafikia mahali alipo sahi. Nashukuru shirika la St. Patrick's ambao wamemwalika katika familia yao. Sasa yeye ni mmoja wao atahudumia Mungu kwa njia hiyo. Na tunashukuru wengine wote 
ambao wamemsaidia katika safari yake ya kwanza huduma mbele za Mungu. Basi ndugu zangu, tujute dhambi zetu. Tupate kujiweka tayari kutoa sadaka takatifu ya misa. Na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi na nyinyi ndugu zangu kwa nini mmekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote na nyinyi ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamee dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele
E bwana Mungu wetu Unaeliongoza taifa lako kwa kutumia huduma ya mapadre Umjelee uishe masisaya wa kanisa lako Uliyependa kumteua leo kwa kazi ya upadre Asta ile kutumia katika mapenzi yako ili kwa huduma ya maisha yake aweze kuutafuta utukufu wako katika Kristo anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
neno la Mungu. Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Isaya. Roho wa Bwana Mungu yupo juu yangu. Kwa sababu Bwana amenipaka mafuta. Amenituma niwahubirie maskini habari jema. Kuwaponya waliovujika moyo. Kuwatangazia mateka uhuru na wafungwa kuwa huru. Kutangaza mwaka wa rehema ya Bwana na siku ya kisasi cha Mungu wetu. Kuwafariji wenye uchungu na kuweka juu ya hao walio sioni taji badara ya majivu. Kuwapa mafuta ya furaha badara ya maomborezo. Vazi la sifa badara ya roho nzitu neno la bwana Zaburi mia moja na kumi kitikio ndiwe kuhani hata milele kwa mfano wa Melki Zedeki.
Somo katika barua ya pili ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Wakorintho. Ndugu, upendo wa Kristu unatusonga tukingamua mmoja alikufa kwa ajili ya wote. Basi wote wamekufa. Nam, alikufa kwa ajili ya wote kusudi wenye kuishi wasiishi kwa ajili yao wenyewe bali waishi kwa ajili yake yeye aliyekufa akafufuka kwa hiyo kutoka sasa hatuwajui watu kadiri ya ubinadamu wao tu zamani tulimwona hata Kristu katika utu wake tu lakini sasa Maoni yetu ni mbali mbali. Basi mtu akiwa katika Kristu ni kiumbe kipya. Ya kale yamepita. Mapya yamefika. Haya yote yanatoka kwa Mungu. Yeye ametupatanisha naye kwa ujumbe wa Kristu. Akatukabidhi sisi kazi ya usuluhishaji yani Mungu ameipatanisha dunia naye katika Kristu kusudi asiwahesabie watu tena makosa yao akaliweka neno la upatanisho ndani yetu basi tumekuwa wajumbe mahali pa Kristu kwa maana ni Mungu anayeonya kwa huduma yetu ni ombi tunalotoa kwa jina la Kristu ndilo mpatanishwe na Mungu neno la Bwana takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Luka Wakati ule Yesu alikwenda Nazareti kule alikolelewa na siku ya sabato akaingia katika sinagogu, sinagogi kama ilivyokuwa desturi yake akasimama asome wakampa kitabu cha nabii Isaya akakifungua akakuta mahali palipoandikwa Roho wa Bwana yu juu yangu kwa maana amenipaka mafuta 
niwahubirie maskini habari njema amenituma kuwatangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa vipofu kuona tena kuwaletea wafungwa uhuru na kutangaza mwaka ulio kubalika kwa Bwana akakifunga kitabu akamrudishia mtumishi akaketi na macho yote katika sinagogi wakamkazia yeye akaanza kuwaambia leo andiko hili limetimia masikioni mwenu injili ya bwana na sasa na mwalika father joseph kamau busco ambaye ni mmoja wa viongozi wa shirika la st patrick's missionary na amesimamia kitengo cha formation ama seminari zetu aweze kumuita shemasi ambaye anapata upadrisho busco Yule atakayepewa daraja ya upadli ajongee hapa. Aizaya Njoroge. Aizaya Njoroge Njeri alizaliwa was born on 6 September 1990 in Akuru Kiamaina by Joyce and Robert Kibiro. He is the first born and the only boy in the family of three. His sisters are Anwe Rimo and Mary Wanjiro. He attained his primary education in Kiamaina Primary School in 1997 to 2005. And later attended Moindefu Secondary School, currently known as Heroes, for his secondary education from 2006 to 2009. He joined St. Patrick's Mission Society in 2011. He spent his two years in Kiamuni Nakuru in initial formation after completing initial formation in 2012 he was recommended to south africa where he engaged in his philosophical study in joseph theological institute sidara in peter marisburg for 2013 to 2015 after three years of studies he was sent out for his first missionary assignment we call it fma to the people of northern nigeria in bauchi diocese where he stayed for one year and five months from 2016 to 2017 in august 2017 he joined the theology formation house in langata narobi where he studied theology at tangaza university college until 2021 isaiah took his permanent membership oath in the society on 18th September 2020 followed by his diaconate ordination on the following day on 19th September 2020 Isaiah owes much of his growth in faith to his grandmother and her sisters especially the late Nancy Wakonyo and to the many of St Patrick's priests who have worked in St Michael Kiamaina parish especially his late friend and mentor Father Kono Moloni Father Deacon Isaiah has worked in St James Mudale Parish in Kitui, St Cecilia Jumuya St Augustine Parish Kemunyi, Love and Hope Center Nakuru, Umgeni Hospital Hawick in South Africa, St Anthony Parish Peter Marisburg South Africa, Mata Ndobisi Community in South Africa. All Saints Utin Dada Parish and Cell Program Bauchi Nigeria. And in 2019 he worked in committee maximum prison thank you
baba mheshimiwa mama kanisa takatifu aomba umpe huyu ndugu yetu madaraka ya upadri je wajua kama anastahili baada ya kuwauliza wakristo na kupata udhibitisho wa watu wanaohusika na ushuhudia kwamba anastahili kwa msaada wa Bwana Mungu na wa mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo na mteua huyu ndugu yetu Shemasi Isaya apewe daraja ya upadri wote tuseme tumshukuru Mungu wote tumshukuru Mungu na sasa tusikize hotuba ya baba askofu Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Na kila wakati. Wa Kristo akiamaina Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Na kila wakati. Mungu ni mwema. mulipata padri wa mwisho kutoka kiamaina lini? <laughs> na inji Hapana. Kuna mwingine hapa na Father Mungu ajabu. Simama tafadhali. Padri wenu wa mwisho ameshamea kipara na hamna mwingine. Sasa tafadhali msingojee Isaya tena ameye kipara ndio mlete mwingine. Mnaelewa? Asanteni sana. Sasa naomba mniruhusu nizungumze na mzee Isaya. Si ndio? Kwa lugha ambayo ataelewa hatari zaidi kwa sababu leo ni siku ya kipekee ya kusherekea daraja ya upadrisho katika kanisa takatifu. Siku ambayo haiwezi kurudiwa ni siku ya kipekee sana kwake kwa kanisa na kwa parokia ya Kiamaina My dear deacon I say Today is a very special day when Christ invites you to join in the ministry to continue his work This day is unrepeatable It is comparable to the day of your baptism. It is comparable to the day of your confirmation. Today, just like those two other sacraments cannot be repeated. What is being done today cannot be undone. Christ is inviting you and is introducing you in the ministry with a certain level of permanence. You cannot go back. You will be a priest forever, as the psalmist has told us, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the first reading, we have heard how the prophet Isaiah speaks to the people of Israel. They have returned from exile in Babylon, not so long before the words of Isaiah. They are undergoing a crisis of faith. The crisis of faith is brought about by their doubts. Their doubts in the power of Yahweh. Their doubts in the faithfulness of Yahweh. Is Yahweh still powerful? Is Yahweh still faithful? After bringing us from exile in Babylon, why is it very difficult for us to reconstruct the country? to reconstruct the temple and continue with our lives why do we encounter so much opposition this brings them sorrow and pain and that is why i said that experiencing some kind of a crisis of faith the words of the prophet isaiah in the first reading of today are meant to speak to that doubt to speak to that crisis to speak to these people returning from exile wanting to reestablish their lives at home and encountering so many obstacles and the powerful message of the prophet is 
listen. Let the Spirit speak to you through me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and sending me to speak to your situation, to speak to your crisis, to speak to your fears, to speak to your doubts, and bring you inner peace. These words of the prophet Isaiah are the ones repeated in the gospel reading of today, which you read. And I deliberately asked that you read the gospel reading of today because of its significance. What is happening to Jesus today in very many ways is also happening to you. We are told in the gospel, after Jesus had come from the desert, from the temptation, filled with the Holy Spirit, first he began preaching in Galilee, areas of Galilee, and his fame began to grow. After that, now he comes home. He is still at the beginning of his public ministry. He comes to the place where he was born. Just as you have come to the place where you are born. And then he enters the synagogue as it was his custom. You have come to the church. This has been your custom. From the moment your parents introduced you to the faith, your grandmother introduced you to the faith, it became more or less a custom for you to be present in the church. And through the help of many other people, you received your vocation. So he entered the synagogue. And we are told he stood up to read. You also stood up and came forward to read. Jesus was handed the scroll of Isaiah. But you have been handed the gospel. It is very significant that you are being handed the gospel. And the celebration of today, the gospel will be handed to you in a special way. And Jesus read this section from the prophet Isaiah chapter 61 that talks about the spirit of God being upon me, upon him. And those are the words you read in the gospel reading of today. Something is happening here, Isaiah. It is not just a repetition. Christ is introducing men into godliness in a special way. God bestows upon human beings the work of God. Just as Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Christ, by his grace, and your, our humility in our unworthiness makes it possible for us to pronounce the words of the Lord himself. You have pronounced the words of Jesus himself. And you have said, and rightly so, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because indeed, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. You have come to the congregation that knows you very well, to your hometown. Your cousins are here. Your sisters are here. Your parents, your village mates, your school mates, they are here. And it is in their presence that you declare and say, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is significant. Something is happening in our midst that cannot be repeated. Why? Because it is happening by God's own ordination. That he chooses from among his own people of Kiamaina, one who comes and pronounces among the people of Kiamaina, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because Christ has desired it that way. These are the words of Christ, Isaiah. And you place on your lips the words of Isaiah. Make sure the words of Isaiah, the words of Jesus Christ, become your words. 
It's always a challenge to be named after a great man. You are named after Isaiah. The challenge is yours. Can you live up to your vocation and be like that great man? But even more importantly, the man whose words you have pronounced in the gospel reading of today, how is he going to challenge your life? Christ wants you to be a priest like him. Today, you become a priest like Christ. You are going to do things as if Christ himself were doing them. That is why you say it like Christ, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he read what can be referred to as his manifesto at the beginning of his ministry. His ministry to the poor. His ministry to the oppressed. His ministry to captives. His ministry to the blind, the downtrodden. This is the focus of the ministry of Jesus Christ. And this is going to be the focus of your ministry. The attraction to the poor. The attraction to the downtrodden. The attraction to captives, held captive by sin, held captive by oppressive regimes, held captive. The captivity that takes people away from God. Let these people attract you. The attraction to the blind. Blinded by the world, to the word of God. Blinded by selfishness, the love of God. These people should be your special you pay your special attention to them these are the words jesus christ read in the synagogue and we are told after he read he sat down and all the eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him at that point he began to teach. This message of the prophet Isaiah is being fulfilled in your presence. My dear Christians of Kiamaina, of the Diocese of Nakuru, and of the Society of St. Patrick's, these words are true. Our eyes today are fixed on his servant Deacon Isaiah as he ascends into the priesthood. And the words of Jesus Christ are fulfilled in this servant of his. That his ministry of reconciliation may continue as St. Paul tells us in the second reading. He is going to be a teacher to continue the ministry of Jesus Christ. But to do that, Isaiah, it must be your custom to go to the synagogue. Make it your custom to go to the synagogue. To be close to the faith of your people. What is your synagogue? It's the Christian community. Your life of prayer. Your faithfulness to Christ. The life of the institute to which you belong. That is the life of your people. That is the life to which you have to be accustomed. And live it to the full. Just as Jesus was accustomed to the life of his people, the religious life of his people. And as a result, what did he do? He went to the synagogue frequently. Go to church frequently. Be in church frequently. Be in prayer frequently. Be at service frequently. Make it your custom to be available to the people. But there is something else. He read the scriptures in the synagogue. This is going to be the foundation of your ministry. Read the gospel. Read it over and over again. As St. Jerome tells us, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of God and of Christ. It's unthinkable that a priest would be ignorant of scripture. Read the scripture for your own personal edification and for the edification of the people of God. Come face to face with the word of God. 
before speaking to the people, before teaching the people. After he read in the synagogue, he sat down. When the eyes were fixed on him, he began to teach. Because Isaiah, you will soon be called Father Isaiah. And the eyes of the people of God will constantly be fixed on you to feed them on the word of God, to feed them on the life of the sacraments. Do this with commitment and with love. If the word of God from your mouth is going to influence the people of God to whom you are going to be sent, it must first influence you. Prepare your homilies well. Please God. Please, God, don't prepare your homily one day before preaching. It's too late. And please, don't look at the readings when you are resting. Please. That can be disastrous. Read the word of God. Minimum three days before preaching to the people, especially Sunday. Prepare well. You have been trained, you have been formed. People give bad homilies not because they are not properly formed, because they just don't prepare. They believe they know it. And yet every day, the more you read the word of God, the more you discover something new because of the treasure that is inexhaustible. The people are going to be fixed. Their attention will be fixed on you. On your life. If you do a bad thing in this village of Kiamaina, and a bus conductor does the same thing in this village of Kiamaina, you know who is going to get to the news. Why? Because our eyes are fixed on you. Please, hold this treasure delicately, carefully. The Lord is inviting you and introducing you, not in somebody else's ministry, in his own ministry. Be a faithful priest. May you be influenced. May you be inspired by the word of God so much so that you find yourself saying things like those of St. Paul in the second reading of today. He says, the love of Christ overwhelms us. These things which are happening in this celebration of today are overwhelming things that God can allow us to speak his own words and to do his own things is overwhelming. It is not because we are worthy. It is not because you are worthy. It is not because you come from a privileged family. It is because Christ has made us like him. By his grace, he has made it possible for us to pronounce his own words. These words you'll pronounce in mass every day, the words of the Lord himself. Because of Christ's faithfulness, not because of your worthiness or my worthiness. Please, be like St. Paul. Be overwhelmed by the love of Christ. Be impelled by the love of Christ. Be compelled by the love of Christ. Be constrained by the love of Christ. Because the love of Christ has a power. And that power moves to action. Action of love. That is the way you are going to become an ambassador. An ambassador of reconciliation. Because in Christ, God has reconciled the whole world to himself. And is inviting you to continue that ministry of reconciliation. Feed the people of God on the word of God. Feed the people of God on the life of the sacraments. May they see in you always a source of encouragement and inspiration in their Christian life. From today, henceforth, that is how your parents are seeing you. That is how your family members are seeing you. Because you have said in their presence, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
the family of Father Isaiah, the village mates of Father Isaiah, the parish mates of Father Isaiah. He is still one of you, but he will be speaking from this side to bring you closer to God. When your parents, your sisters, your grandmother, everybody, village mates, see you, the first thing they should think about is sanctification. I would be happy. I would be very happy if you come home. The first thing people ask you for is conf confession. Your village mates, when they see you, they are running to you for confession. They are inviting you for baptism. Inviting for the sacrament of marriage. Don't give any impression to them or to anybody that you are first and foremost a source of income. It will distract you in your priesthood. And you will not be a happy priest. Let people see in you first sacraments. A minister of God. Because the spirit of the Lord is upon you. He has sent you to them as he has sent you to anywhere else. To go and minister to them in faithfulness and in love. May the unrepeatability of this day be a true experience of the love and mercy of God when he chooses you to ascend the sacrament of the priesthood. sasa tutafakari kwa muda maneno ya baba askofu sasa shemasi atasongea mbele ya baba askofu na kutakuwa na mahojiano na baba askofu na shemasi kuangalia kana kwamba ameshurutishwa kuwa padri ama ye mwenyewe amependa na amechagulia Mwana mpendwa Isaya Kabla hujajongea kupewa daraja ya upadri ya kupasa kudhihirisha mbele za watu nia yako ya kupokea madaraka hayo Je wataka kutimiza daima kazi ya kikuani katika ngazi ya mapadri kama msaidizi mwaminifu wa maaskofu katika kulichunga kundi la Bwana ukiongozwa na roho mtakatifu nataka je wataka kutekeleza huduma ya neno kwa kuhubiri injili na kufafanua imani katoliki kwa uchaji na busara nataka 
Je, wataka kuadhimisha mafumba ya Kikristo kwa ibada na uaminifu kulingana na mapokeo ya kanisa kwa namna ya pekee ya sadaka ya Ekaristi na sakramenti ya upatanisho kwa utukufu wa Mungu na kwa utakatifu wa taifa la Mungu nataka je wataka pamoja nasi kumwomba Mungu huruma yake kwa ajili ya kundi unalokabidhiwa ukidumu katika kutimiza agizo la kusali bila kuchoka nataka je wataka kujiunga zaidi siku hadi siku na Kristo kuani mkuu ambaye alijitoa mwenyewe kwa baba kuwa sadaka safi kwa ajili yetu na pamoja naye kujiweka wakfu kwa Mungu kwa ajili ya wokovu wa watu kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka sasa anasongea mbele ya baba askofu kuahidi kuti kuti kwa maskofu mafanya kazi na viongozi wa shirika J Shemasi Isaya Waidi kuwapa maaskofu wa jimbo na mkuu wa shirika lako heshima na utii na ahidi basi Mungu alianzisha ndani yako kazi hiyo njema yeye mwenyewe aikamilishe sasa wote mnalikwa kupiga magoti ni wakati walitania na shemasi dikon atalala kifudi fudi sign of total surrender to god's will ndogo wapendwa tumuombe Mungu baba mwenyezi amjalie wingi wa mapaji ya mbinguni huyo mtumishi wake Shemasi Isaya aliyemteua kwa kazi ya upadri tupige magoti
kuwema sala zetu ili umiminie huyo mtumishi wako baraka ya roho mtakatifu na nguvu ya neema ya kikuani sisi tunamtoa kwako e baba mwenye huruma ili umweke wakfu naye akipokea kipaji hiki unacho mjalia kwa ukarimu usiokoma tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Amen. Tusimame. Na sasa baba askofu atamwekea mikono na baadaye mapadri wote wanaalikwa wote tunaomba tunyamaze kimya hakuna wimbo hakuna kuongea
uwe nasi e bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulia asili ya hadhi ya mwanadamu na mgawaji wa neema zote kwako wewe ulimwengu wote wanufaika kwako wewe vitu vyote vinaimarika wewe ambaye kwa ajili ya kuliunda taifa la kikuani wapanga wa hudumu wa Kristu mwanao kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu katika ngazi mbalimbali mbali ndani yake ndivyo katika agano la kwanza ga, kazi zilivyoanza na kukua kwa namna ya ajabu na ulipowaweka Musa na Haruni kutawala na kutakatifuza watu wako uliwachagua watu katika ngazi na hadhi mbalimbali chini yao kwa ajili ya jamii na utendaji wao ndivyo pia kule jangwani ulivyoeneza roho ya Musa kwa njia ya watu sabini wenye busara wakawa wasaidizi wake miongoni mwa watu hata akaweza kutawala kwa uraisi zaidi kundi lako ndivyo ulivyowajalia wana wa Haruni ukamilifu wa uku wande yao ili waweko makasisi wa kutosha kutoa sadaka ya za imani ambazo zilikuwa mfano wa mambo yatakayokuja kukidhi hadhi inayolingana na mujibu wa sheria za kikuani na hatimaye katika utimilifu wa nyakati baba mwema ulimtuma mwanao duniani yani Yesu Kristo aliyemfalme na mshenga wa imani yetu yeye alijitoa kwako kwa njia ya roho mtakatifu sadaka safi isiyo na doa na akawafanya mitume wake aliyowatakasa katika ile kweli washiriki utume wake hao nao aliwaongezea waandamizi wa kutangaza neno lako na kufanya kazi ya kueneza wokovu kwa dunia nzima sasa tunakuomba e bwana katika unyonge wetu utujalie wasaidizi hawa wetu ambao tunawahitaji katika utendaji wetu wa ukuani wa kitume. E baba mwenyezi. Tunakuomba umpe huyu mtumishi wako hadhi ya upadri. Utie upya moyoni mwake roho wa utakatifu. Asimamie kazi ya daraja la pili ambaye amepokea kutoka kwako ee Mungu na kwa maisha yake awe mfano wa maadili awe msaidizi wetu mwema ili maneno ya injili ya zaa ya matunda katika mioyo ya watu na yeye hadi mipaka ya dunia kwa njia ya mahubiri yake kwa neema ya roho mtakatifu pamoja nasi awe mgawaji mwaminifu wa mafumbo yako kusudi taifa lako liungwe upya kwa kuoshwa kwa kuzaliwa mara ya pili malilishwe altareni pako na wenye dhambi wapatanishwe nawe na wagonjwa wafarijike awe daima na ushirika nasi ee bwana kwa kukusia huruma yako kwa ajili ya watu waliokabidhiwa kwake na pia kwa dunia nzima na hivyo Mataifa yote yapate kukusanywa katika Kristo na kuwa taifa lako lilo moja tu alifikie utimilifu wake katika ufalme wako. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Yesu Kristu mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Amen. Na sasa kanisa Katoliki lina padri Aizaya sio shemasi tena mbali sasa ni padri. Namwalika Father Michael Makadhi. Namwalika Father Michael Makadhi ambaye atamvalisha stola na kasula.
kutafuta viganjani E Bwana Yesu Kristo ambaye Bwana alimpaka mafuta kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde kwa ajili ya kuwatakasa wa Kristu na kumtolea Mungu sadaka Padre Isaya Pokea dhabihu za taifa takatifu za kumtolea Mungu fahamu hayo utakayotenda fuasa hayo utakayofanya napatanisha maisha yako na fumbo la msalaba wa Bwana baba askofu atampati atamtakia amani a sign of peace na kwa mapadri tutakubali tu mkuu wa shirika la St Patrick's atasimamia mapadri wengine wote kwa sababu ya nyakati ambazo tuko nazo kwa sababu ya covid sani baba askofu na mkuu wa shirika la St Patrick's Sasa atuambie wote amani. wakati wa kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu sadaka zetu nitaomba CME wapange vikapu na zile boxes ili tuweze kutoa sadaka zetu kwaaya tutongoze kuimba tafadhali
Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi E Mungu uliyetaka mapadri wako kutumikia altare takatifu na watu wako wewe uliye mwema kwa ajili ya sadaka umjali shuo ya kupendeze daima katika huduma yako na ilete matunda ya dumu hiyo siku zote katika kanisa lako tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi awe pia nawe inuwe ni mioyo tumeinua kwa bwana tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu Nimema na kitu kushukuru daima na popote E bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele Wewe kwa mpako wa roho mtakatifu Ulimweka mwana wa pekee awe kuwa ni mkuu wa gano jipya la milele na kwa mpango wako usielezeka ulipenda ukuani wake pekee utunze katika kanisa maana ye mwenyewe analipamba taifa hilo jipatia kwa ukuani wa kifalme na kwa wema wa kindugu na wate watu ili washirikishe huduma yake takatifu na kuwaweke ya mikono nao katika jina lake waendelee kuadhimisha sadaka ya ukombozi wa wanadamu wakiandaa karamu ya kipasaka kwa ajili ya wana wako Walitangulia taifa la kutakatifu katika upendo walilishe kwa neno lako na kuwatia uzima kwa sakramenti nao wakitoa nafsi zao kwa ajili yako na kwa ugovu wa ndugu zao wajibidishe kufananishwa na sura ya Kristo mwenyewe na hatimaye wadumu katika kuushuhudia imani na upendo wako kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu wote wa mbinguni Waimba wimbo wa utukufu wako tukisema kwa furaha
baba mwema na kusii kwa unyenyekevu na kuomba kwa njia Yesu Kristu mwanao bwana wetu uzipokee na kuzibariki dhabio hizi takatifu tunazo kutolea kwa ajili ya kanisa lako takatifu katoliki ukubali kuletea amani na umoja kulilinda na kuliongoza popote duniani na kutolea pia kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na mtumishi wako unisie staili na wote wenye kushika imani katoliki ya mitume e hey, bwana unawakumbuke watumishi wako na wote waliopo hapa wewe wajua imani na ibada wao kwa ajili yao tunakutolea sadaka hii ya kukusifu na wenyewe wanakutolea sadaka hiyo kwa ajili yao na jamaa zao ili wao koke na tumaini lao la kupata uzima na usalama litimie ndivyo wana vio kuomba wewe Mongo wa kweli Mongo wa mime, milele Tunashirikiana kumheshimu kwanza Maria mtukufu daima bikira Mama wa Yesu Kristu Mungu Bwana wetu Alafu tunamheshimu Yosefu mwenye heri mume wake huyu bikira na mitume na mashahidi wako wenye heri Petro na Paulo Andrea Yakobo Yohane, Toma, Yakobo, Filipo, Bartolomeo, Mateo, Simoni na Tadeo, Lini, Kleti, Clementi, Sisti, Koneli, Sipriani, Laurenti, Kristonogi, Yohane na Paulo, Kosma na Damiano na watakatifu wako wote. Utujalie ulinzi wako kwa mastahili na maombezi yao ili tuwe salama katika mambo yote kwa hiyo e bwana tunakuomba upokee kwema sadaka hii tunayokutolea sisi watumishi wako na jamaa yako yote tunayokutolea pia kwa ajili ya huyo mtumishi wako uliyependa kumpa daraja ya upadri Utunze kwa rehema ndani yake mapaji yako ili atimize kwa nguvu za kimungu hayo uliyemjalia nawe. Utujalie amani yako maishani mwetu. Utuepushe na laana ya milele utuweke miongoni mwa wateule wako. E Mungu tunakuomba uibariki sadaka hii ikupendeze uipokee ili iwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu siku iliyotangulia kuteso kwake yeye alitoa mkate katika mikono yake mtukufu akainua macho mbinguni kwako wewe baba yake mwenyezi akakushukuru na kutukuza akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema itueni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatua kikombe katika mikono yake mtukufu akakushukuru na kutukuza akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tueni mnye wote iki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi
Sumbola imani Sumbola imani Yesu ani kufa Sumbola imani Yesu ani kufa Yesu ata hiyo e bwana sisi watumishi wako na taifa lako takatifu tunakumbuka mateso matakatifu ya huyo Kristo mwanao bwana wetu tunakumbuka pia kufuka kwake katika wafu na kupaa kwake mbinguni kwa utukufu ewe mwenyezi kati ya zawadi zilizotujalia tunakutolea sadaka safi na takatifu yani mkate mtakatifu wa uzima wa milele na kikombe cha wokovu wa milele Uwe radhi kuitazama sadaka hii kwa uso wa rehema uipokee kama ulivyokubali kupokea sadaka ya Abeli mtumishi wako mwaminifu na sadaka ya babu yetu Ibrahimu na ile sadaka takatifu isiyo na doa aliyokutolea Melkisede kuani wako mkuu Ee Mungu mwenyezi tunakuomba kwa unyenyekevu umtume malaika wako mtakatifu Aichukue sadaka hii na kuipeleka kwenye altara yako mbinguni mbele ya uso wako mtukufu. Nasi tutakaopokea mwili na damu takatifu ya mwanao katika altara hii tujazwe kila baraka na neema ya mbinguni. E bwana wakumbuke pia watumishi wako marehemu na wote waliotangulia wakiwa na ishara ya imani wamepumzika katika usingizi wa amani. Tunakuomba e Bwana uwapatie mahali pa faraja na mwanga na amani hao wote wanaopumzika katika Kristu. Nasi pia watumishi wako wakosefu napo tumainia wingi wa rehema zako. Utujalie nafasi tukae pamoja na mitume na mashahidi wako watakatifu. Yohane, Stefano, Matia, Barnaba, Inyasi, Alexander, Maselini. Petro, Felista, Papechwa, Agatha, Lucia, Anyesi, Cecilia, Anastasia na watakatifu wako wote. Sio kuomba utupokee kwa huruma miongoni mwao ingawa hatustahili. Ee Bwana, kwa njia ya Kristo naumba daima mema yote na kuyatakasa, kuyatia uzima, kuyabariki na kutujalia sisi. kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele <tune> Na sasa tusali kwa imani ile sala aliyotufundisha Bwana wetu Baba yetu uliye mbinguni Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kwa imani maishani mwetu. Utuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako. Tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Tungojee kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. E Bwana Yesu Kristo aliyewaambia mitume wako na waachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu. 
usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako ulijeli amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala daima na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi iwe pia nawe tutakiane amani kwenye karamu ya Bwana. Eh Bwana, staili uingie kwangu. Lakini sema neno moja tu na roho yangu itapona.
ni wakati wa kupokea ekaresti takatifu mnakumbushwa kwamba ni makatoliki ambao wameruhusiwa na kanisa na wamejitayarisha mapadri wataongozwa na wana CMA kwa mavuli so ukiona penye padri yako na mwavuli ndipo utaenda kupokea ekaresti takatifu just to remind you let us observe the social distance kwa sababu ya covid
wimbo wa shukrani tusimame wote tutumimbie Mungu na kumshukuru Mungu Tusimame. E bwana. Oske ya kimungu tulia kutolea. Na kupoke uwe shema padri wako. 
na watumishi wako wote ili wakishaunganika nawe kwa upendo wa milele wastahilisha kutumike pasavyo utukufu wako tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu tunaomba tukae chini kwa wakati huu na mwalika padri mpya father Isaiah Njoroge aweze kubariki baba askofu i now i invite father Isaiah Njoroge to give blessings to the bishop after the bishop the society leadership bwana awe nanyi Almighty and ever living God I thank you for the gift of your servant Bishop Morris Muhati Makumba may you God bless him as he works as he shepherds his people may his blessings all may your blessings always be upon him I thank you for for him for taking this opportunity to ordain me may he continue doing this work in every way and I ask your blessing of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit to come upon him now and forever Amen Okay, my coffee. Asante sana kwa wakati huu na walika wakuu wa shirika la St. Patrick's Missionaries, the Society of Leadership, all of them. Father Bosco, Father Sean, Father Gabriel, Father Kahal, Father Gabriel Dol. Isaiah is waiting Gabriel Almighty and ever living God I thank you for the leadership of St Patrick's Missionary Society thank you for the work that they have been doing thank you for their leadership quality and thank you for their stirring up our society into greater heights I ask you that you may send your spirit upon them so that they may work diligently being driven by your holy spirit being compelled by your holy spirit and may your blessings of the father the son and the holy spirit come down upon them now and forever amen Asante sana. Na walika wazazi wa Father Isaiah, the parents of Father Isaiah. Wazazi baba na mama wakaribia wapate baraka kutoka kwa mtoto wao ambaye ni padre. Mungu Baba Mwenyezi ni asanti kwa kipaji cha wazazi hawa ambao umenijalia wakanilea wakanitendea mambo mema wakanifunza maadili mema na kuomba baraka zako zikeza kuwashukia hivi leo mimi ni padri ni kwa sababu yao na ni kwa sababu ya malezi wao mema naombea wazazi wote ambao wamekuwa kinilea ambao wamekuwa kinitendea mambo mema naomba baraka yako ya baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu iwashukie na kukaa nao daima na milele Amina. Asante sana kwa wazazi. Na sasa Isaiah atapatia baraka kwa sisi wote. Pigeni magoti ama msimame. Pige magoti ama usimame. Bwana awe nanyi. Mungu Baba Mwenyezi ni asanti kwa kipaji cha Wakristo hawa. Wamenionyesha upendo mkuu, upendo wa ajabu. Nami naomba baraka zako ziwe pamoja nao. Bariki kazi zao, bariki familia zao, bariki hata yale yote ambao wanataka kutenda. Ya ile sala ambazo wako nazo katika roho zako ukaweza kuwatimilizia. Nami nawabariki kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Tuketi chini wote. Sasa imefika wakati wa maongezi na tutakuwa with very short speeches 
na wa kwanza kuongea atakuwa padri ambaye ni mpya na anapo tayarisha hotuba yake ningetaka to acknowledge the presence of all the priests around mapadri wa St Patrick's Missionary Society the diocesan priest most from Nakuru diocese we really appreciate your presence from Kitale diocese and from Eldoret diocese we also have capuchins with us and also we have a priest who traveled all the way from Nigeria an MSP priest father Mark Joe karibu sana na mashemasi wote ambao wako hapa vile vile natambua ma sister walito sisters of St Francis Loreto sisters the Franciscan sisters of Africa and Mercy sisters wote mjisikie mkiwa nyumbani vile vile naambiwa kwamba kuna watu ambao wamevumilia jam all the way from Holy Family Nairobi Parish chini ya uongozi wao Father Bosco Holy Family Parish mjisikie mkiwa nyumbani karibuni sana sasa wakati wa hotuba na mwalika Father Isaiah Njoroge Haya tazame ninyi nyi wenyewe Mungu wangu wenyewe ametenda Bishop Right Reverend Morris Muhati Makumba Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru Very Reverend for the Victor Dan Society Leader St Patrick's Missionary Society Central Leadership Team Members of St Patrick's Missionary Society for the John Maren for the Kahal Muriati and for the Bosco Kamau District Leadership of East Africa under the leadership of Father Sean Kremen the director of vocation and promotion for the Stephen Kimani the parish priest of St Michael's Kiamina all society priests present all priests deacons seminarians religious sisters and brothers my distinguished family distinguished guest all protocols observed and the great people of St Michael Parish Kiamina those following online ladies and gentlemen tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele amina gaine mwega hede shio de hede my lord bishop i want to take this opportunity to first and foremost thank the almighty god for he has indeed done great things for me he has indeed uplifted me though unworthy to the order of priesthood to be a servant of his people when i look back at my journey and the road that i have traveled for me to stand here today i am filled with awe and gratitude and i find myself asking the lord the same question that king david asked in second samuel 7 verses 18 who am i lord and what is my lineage that you have brought me this far My journey to the priesthood has been an adventure to me. It has been a journey that has led me to self-awareness, to self-realization, self-discovery and self-knowledge. It is a journey that has led me to encounter the darkest, the dirtiest and even the weakest places within me. It is a journey that has allowed me to be in touch with my vulnerability and thus discover a God who delights in me even in my imperfection. It is for this reason that I boldly join today St Paul in boasting of nothing other than my weaknesses because I am assured his grace is sufficient and that it is only when I am weak then I am strong 
God has been indeed a refuge and strength, and I will sing his mercy, love, and faithfulness as long as I live. I would like to thank you, my Lord Bishop, for accepting to ordain me into the order of priesthood. Thank you for your inspiring words. Thank you for your advice. May God bless you and give you the strength to shepherd his people. I extend my gratitude to the society leader of St. Patrick's Missionary Society and St. Patrick's family at large for accepting me to be a member of this family. A wise man once described members of St. Patrick's Missionary Society as ordinary people who are called to serve God and his people in an extraordinary way. It is that extraordinary way that the bishop was speaking about to me this morning, saying that I should be attracted to those who are broken, those who are lonely, those who feel as if they are lost. It is that extraordinality that St. Patrick gives that I pray that God may give me, may grant me and enhance me to be a person of love, to be a person of compassion and mercy. May God bless you all. I would like to thank East African District leadership for the support, encouragement, and love they have shown me in preparing for this day. Thank you for the Sean and for the Gabriel. Thank you very much. Special thanks goes to my family, both nuclear and extended, for the love they have shown me all through my life. Asante ni sana ko familia, asante ni mam, asante ni anko, asante ni anti na sister zangu wote, kwa yale ambao umentendea maumbi enu, kwa kunishikilia na kunipenda kwa upendo mku. Sister zote wa shosho, naombea sana na mungu wazidi kwa bariki. Asante ni sana kwa upendo huu ambao umenionesha. Asante ni kwa kubali mimi niwe mtumishi wa buwana, hata ingawa mimi ni kijana wa pekee wa kwetu, muli ni kubalisha ni fanye hayo. Rehema na neema zake mwenyezi mungu ziwashukie. Mimi kwangu na wapenda, mimi na wadhamini. Siku ya leo ningependa kuombea roho ya shosho yangu, Nancy Wakonyo. Na iombea roho yake ipumzike mahali mema peponi, na kwa yale yote ambali nitendea katika maisha yangu. I would like to thank all my teachers, beginning with nursery school. Najua walimu wangu wote wako hapa, wale ambao li nifunza nursery, those who taught me in primary school kia maina, na wale ambao li nifunza secondary school moindefo. Ningependa kuwa shukuru sana. Mungu wa wabariki, mungu wa walinde kwa kunipa maadili mema, kunifunza njia za kweli, na za kufuata na sasa siku ya leo nasimama hapa ni kwa jili yenyu ya kunipenda na kunifunza kumtumikia Mungu. Ningependa pia kuwashukuru walimu wa dini. Mrs. Bagara, Mr. Richard, Mr. Duku, Mr. Wambugu, Muturi na Matu. Asanteni sana kwa kuwa mmenishikilia tangu nikiwa mdogo mkanipenda na mkanifunza dini. Mungu awabariki. I want to thank my vocation director who is absent for the Brendan Payne for all that he has done for me and all that he did. To all my formators, those who are present and those who are absent, I want to say thank you. Thank you in a very special way for giving me an opportunity to grow, for giving me an opportunity to become a better human being, for giving me an opportunity to become a better missionary priest. Thank you for the second chances that you've given unto me. I stand today because of those second chances. May God bless you all. My heartfelt gratitude to all spiritual directors and directresses, together with all those who have helped me through counseling. Thanks to all my lecturers at different universities and colleges that I have attended. You have made me wiser and knowledgeable. God bless you all. Thank you to my brothers, my brothers who are in formation, especially those that I've lived with those that we have shared the same house, the same table. I want to thank you very much. May God bless you and help you in your discernment journey. Thank you to all those my classmates who, in one way or another, didn't make it to the priesthood. Thank you for coming. May God bless you in your different roads that you've taken. May God continue to sustain you and give you his grace. I want to thank, in a very special way, my classmate Innocent Olise, who is at this moment being ordained, I pray that the Lord may grant him the graces 
that he may serve the Lord with all his heart. In a very special way, I would like to thank the priests who have worked in St. Michael's Parish. My gratitude goes to Father Michael McCarthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all that you've taught me. Thank you for your never-ending support and love. Thank you for your inspiration. It is highly appreciated. It is highly recognized. Thank you, Father Michael. I also want to thank Father John Miner and Rito Wakia Miner. Asante sana, Father. Thank you, thank you very much for this great support, encouragement. You have been a mentor to me all these years, and I would like to really, really appreciate that. You have taught me how to be a missionary. You are a diocesan priest, but you are more of a missionary than even myself. So I would like to thank you for that, for reminding me always to go out and to be with the people, to serve the people with all my heart. May God bless you, Father. I'd like to thank Father Kufre Afangide. Thank you, Father, for the few months that we've spent together, for what you've helped me see and what you have taught me. Also, I want to ask the Lord to bless you. Organizing this ordination was not easy, and I know for the Minor and for the Kufre and for the Makadi have done a lot, and that's why they are in my prayers. I thank them. I also want to thank for the Nicholas Motherway, who is absent today, but whose influence I still savour. Thanks to Father Simon Kamau. Thanks to Father Peter Kamau. Thank you to Father Peter Geshure, and thank you to Father Francis Mogo, who are priests in this parish. Thank you very much, fathers. Thank you also to Father Dan Mwangi, who we have been together. He's from this parish in a way, because we have shared a lot. I want to pray for the souls of Ma Father Michael O'Brien, Father Anthony Prunty. These are the people who helped me grow in faith. If there is one person that would have wanted to see this day, but could not, is my great friend, my great mentor, and a great missionary priest, the late Father Connor Moloney. I know his spirit is around me today, celebrating with me. It is in that that I ask you to pray for his soul, to remember him. Kwa sababu rinapo si mama hapa, ni kwa sababu ya mkono wake, ni kwa sababu ya msaada wake, ni kwa sababu alinishikilia mkono na akanifunza imani. Raha ya milele umpe e buwana, apumzike kwa amani. I want to thank all priests and deacons that have honored this occasion. Thank you for your support. To all religious sisters and brothers present, thank you for coming and may God bless you. I would like in a very special way to thank Franciscans Missionary Sisters for Africa and the little sisters of St. Francis of Assisi, St. Anthony community. Thank you sisters for your love, for your encouragement, for your support all those years. May God continue blessing you and granting you all the blessings. My heartfelt gratitude also goes to the benefactors, benefactresses, friends of St. Patrick's, au marafiki wa mtakatifu Patrick. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all that you've done. Asanteni kwa kukubali kuwa missionary kwa maombi na msaada wenu wakifedha. Mungu awabariki. Ningependa kama wewe ni marafiki wa mtakatifu Patrick, usimame tafadhali. Kama we ni rafiki wa mtakatifu Patrick. Tafadhali tuwapigie makofi. Ni kwa msaada ya hawa, ni kwa maombi yao, ni kwa maombi na msaada wa wakifedha, ndiyo maana nimeona siku ya leo. Ninapo simama siku ya leo ni kwa sababu ya msaada wao. Wamekubali kuwa missionary kwa maombi na kwa kile kitu kidogo ambacho mungu wa mawabariki. Nanyi wengine mkitaka kujiunga na sisi, mmekaribishwa. Mmekaribishwa mwe wa missionary kama hawa marafiki. Asanteni sana. To the different families all over Kenya and Africa that opened their doors to me, may God bless them. To the people of South Africa, siyabonga kakulu. To the people of Nigeria, na goddess who say, to the people of Holy Family, Utawala Parish, Asanteni sana, Mungu wabariki. To the people of St. Peter Apostle Parish, Kikuyu, Mbarikiwe Mahali Mlipo. To the chaplaincy of committee prison that allowed me to work there for two years, may God bless you. 
May God be with you with the work that you are doing. To the people of St. Augustine Parish, Kiamuni, umbarikiwe sana. To the people of St. Patrick's Kibomet, Kitale, pia nyinyi pokeeni baraka zangu. Na la mwisho kwa watu wa St. James Mudhale, ambapo nilianza safari yangu, hata hao naombea baraka yake Mwenyezi Mungu. To all those following this event online, I would like to say thank you very much for taking your time to be with me on this special occasion. God bless you in everything that you do. I want to thank the committee that organized this ordination, which was led by the very able Mrs. Maku. If she is around, she can stand. Mrs. Maku. Asante sana, ma'am. Asante kwa upendo wako, asante kwa yale yote ambayo umetendea. Mungu akubariki. Asante kwa komitii zile zote ambazo zimefanya kazi. Najua kuna watu nilikuwa nasikia walali usiku na mchana ili siku iweze kuwa ya kufana. Ninawaombea sana na mbarikiwe sana. Asante to the choir. Asante ni sana. Umeandaa hii misa vizuri. Mumeimba vizuri na Mungu awabariki. Sina cha kuwalipa lakini baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu wacha ziwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima na milele. Na shukuru sana my servers kwa kusavi misa all the acolytes that are present thank you very much asanteni kwa liturgical dancers hao wame dance vizuri sana na wamefanya hii siku ikawa ya kufana nitakuwa nikiwakumbuka siku zote za maisha yangu pokeeni baraka those who did decorations i want to acknowledge them too those who are cooking at this moment i want to to, to thank them. Those who are helping even in security at this moment, I want to thank them. Those who helped even in simple ways like sweeping, the simple things that they did, nawashukuru pia. Special thanks goes even to Wambogu, who designed a lot of things. May God bless you, Mr. Wambogu. Special thanks goes to Margaret for, of the vocation office, who helped me design the cards. Margaret, God bless you and be with you. Ningependa kushukuru kehogi, Wakafa na Grace. Kwa upendo wamenionyesha miaka hii yote, Mungu awabariki. Kwa kila mmoja aliyejitolea kwa hali na mali ili siku hii iwe ya kufana, pokeeni baraka na fadhili zake Bwana. Finally, ningependa kuwashukuru wa Kristu wa St. Michael's Kiamaina. Wa Kristu ambao wamenishikilia kwa muda mrefu. Wakristo ambao wamenipenda kwa upendo mkuu, Wakristo ambao wamenionyesha mapendo ya ajabu. Sina cha kuwalipa ila ni kusema asanti. Newe gamuno gayamura adhime, ni mwanyo ni wedo munene muno. Gutire kedo igeka kumuriha. No jerire gayamura adhime. Na muto ogoragi. Yohane alipomaliza injili yake katika mlango wake wa 25, alisema Kuna mambo mengi aliyofanya Yesu ambayo yakuandikwa moja moja. Nadhani hata kama ingeandikwa hata ulimwengu usingetosha vile vitabu vika, vika, vilivyo andikwa, vitakavyo andikwa. Vile vile mimi nina watu wengi sana ningependa kushukuru. Kuna watu wengi sana wamenitendea mambo makuu katika maisha yangu, siwezi washukuru wote. Pengine wengine sijawataja. Pokeeni shukrani zangu. Pokeeni baraka zangu, Mwenyezi Mungu awalinde, awaongoze na awabariki. Asanteni sana, mbarikiwe. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Asanteni sana Padre Isaiah. Indeed it takes a whole village to bring up a child. Kwa wakati huu namwalika mkuu wa shirika la St Patrick's Missionaries, Father Victor Dan naye atoe hotuba yake. Father Victor Dan. My Lord Bishop, uh, Right Reverend Morris Mohati Makomba, uh, my brother priests, uh, religious sisters and brothers, and my fellow Christians, good afternoon to you all. Hello. And uh, Congratulations to you, Father Isaiah, on your ordination to the priesthood. Uh, we in St. Patrick's welcome you 
to our society, our missionary society as a priest member and we are overjoyed and very glad to have you with us as a priest and as a missionary. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Father Isaiah has spoken uh, very gracious words of appreciation and very comprehensive uh, words of gratitude. Uh, I, I have very little to say to add, but please allow me to maybe pick out some important people to uh, express uh, words of esteem and, and gratitude to them. As you know, without families, we would not have priests. So I'm very delighted to honor the grandmother and the parents and family of Father Isaiah. We are more than aware that our fathers and mothers are the first and most important Christian formators. Thank you for supporting Father Isaiah on his journey towards priesthood. Asante ni sana. We in St. Patrick's are very aware of the great contribution many priests have made in the formation of Father Isaiah, formation towards priesthood. He has mentioned many already himself, but I'd like to begin with the late Father Conor Maloney. I am sure he is in heaven rejoicing with us on this great day. And then Father Michael McCarthy was parish priest of Kiamina when Father Isaiah decided to join St. Patrick's Society with the assistance of our vocations director, Father Brendan Payne. We are very grateful to them and to all the formators who were involved in Father Isaiah's journey towards priesthood. Among us here are Father Cahal Moriarty, Father Elisha Wasike, and Father Mac Joe, all representing our formators. Thank you, thank you very much for facilitating the priestly formation of Father Isaiah. We are very grateful to Father John Maina, the parish priest of Kiamina, to Father Kufre Afangide, and to all the people of Kiamina Parish for the support you have given Father Isaiah during his years of preparation towards the priesthood. In particular, thank you for organizing this great day for his ordination, for preparing for the event so well, and for participating so fully in the ordination ceremony. Asante ni sana. Especially we in St. Patrick's appreciate the assistance and hospitality the Nakuru priests have shown Father Isaiah. And we thank you for being with us today to pray for and to bless Father Isaiah. We thank God for the great bonds of fraternal support and friendship between the diocesan and clergy here in Kenya and our priests. May these fraternal bonds of friendship continue to grow and remain strong. This is a very historic day for St. Patrick's Missionary Society, with Father Isaiah being the first priest to be ordained for the society from St. Michael's Parish, Kiamina. So we are particularly happy that the Bishop of Nakuru Bishop Morris Mohatia Makomba was available to do the ceremony. Thank you very much, Bishop Morris, for presiding at a very beautiful liturgy and for ordaining Father Isaiah to the priesthood in the society. And finally, I thank you all for honoring this great occasion for St. Patrick's Society, honoring it with your prayers and by being present here with us. I hope you will enjoy the remainder of the day and afterwards have a pleasant journey home. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Asante sana, Father Victor Dan. 
kabla sijamualika the incoming parish priest of Kiamaina parish ili aweze kumkaribisha baba askofu nimekumbushwa tu Isaiah alisahau kuambia kwamba baada ya upadrisho wake baada ya likizo yeye mwenyewe ametumwa upande wa Nigeria jimbo la Bauchi tumuombe tumtakie mema anapoenda kwa ziara yake kwa kazi yake ya upadri na baada ya misa ameweza kuwatambua marafiki wa St Patrick's Missionary Society and if you are here as a friend of St Patrick's usiende nyumbani kama hujapata pa- baraka ya padri huyu for now i invite father kufre the incoming parish priest of kiamaina parish ili aweze kumkaribisha baba askofu kwa shima inaostahili kwa baba askofu askofu wa jimbo la nakuru askofu morris muhatia viongozi wa jamii ya wa missionary ya mtakatifu patrick mapadri na watawa viongozi wa parokia viongozi wa serikali na wakristo wote wapendwa hapa tumsive yesu kristo daima na milele amina ngai ni mwega yesu yote kwanza ningependa kumpongeza ndugu yangu Padre Isaya kwa, kuwe, kwa kuwekwa wakfu kikuhani leo. Pongezi kaka. Pili na mshukuru baba askofu na ninyi nyote kwa kuja kushiriki katika sherehe hii. Na kwa namna ya kipekee na washukuru viongozi wa parokia Kiamaina wajumbe wa kamati ya mipango na padre Maina kwa kazi zote walizozifanya kufanikisha siku hii Ndiyo kweli wamechapa kazi mzuri makofi Mungu awabariki ninyi nyote katika jina la Yesu. Mwisho ningependa kumkaribisha baba askofu asumgumze na kundi lake. Baba askofu karibu. Tumkaribisha yeye na makofi. Mtu mrefu lakini sauti ndogo. God is good and all the time. God is good and that is nature. Wow. The history of the Catholic Diocese of uh, Nakuru, a comprehensive history, would be severely impoverished and gravely mutilated if it did not mention in the first paragraph St. Patrick's Missionary Society. That is how close they are to us and that is what they mean to this diocese. And because of this, they continue what I call a triple presence in the diocese. Here in Kiamaina, then at St. Teresa's, and in Kiamuni. Here in Kiamaina is made manifest their pastoral arm. There at St. Teresa's is made manifest their prayerful arm. And in Kiamuni is made manifest their formative arm. Brian Tracy, I've not forgotten you. For you, you combine all those three in one place. These three are very important, that they pastor the people of God, they pray for the people of God, and they form the people of God. St. Patrick's Society, through Father Victor 
and your leadership. Thank you very much for this continued presence in the diocese of Nakuru. You're very special to us. And this ordination in this parish is also very significant, the ordination of one member of your society. And Father Isaiah, I congratulate you and I wish you well as you go to the land of Fufu. Fu. Okay. <laughs> they will soon be calling you Ogao. Okay. And it's a good exchange that Father Kufre comes here and Father Isaiah goes to the other side to continue the mission of Christ. Thank you very much for accepting that invitation to go and serve the people of God in that great country. Wa Kristu wa Kiamaina. Asandeni sana kwa wema wenu bila kifani. Umeonyesha upendo wa kipekee kwa mapadri wetu wa St Patrick's ambao wamefanya kazi hapa kwa muda mrefu tangu jimbo letu lianze. Na mnaendelea kuonyesha ule wema na ubora. Liturujia meyendesha vizuri sana leo. Kwa ya leo muliingiwa na kakitu ambayo kama wafanya muimbe vizuri zaidi. Na mungu wa endelee kuwa bariki. Nige kuwa na mamlaka. Nige, nige waomba niwe nikienda na nyinyi nikizunguka jimbo lote mukiimba. Lakini sina mamlaka ya kufanya hivyo. Kwa hivyo tunawashukuru sana Mungu aendelee kuwabariki siku hii ya safari ya Father Isaiah na paanza nzuri sana Mungu amsindikize katika yote ambayo atayafanya. Watoto wa PMC. Asanteni sana. Na wazazi endeleeni kutunza hii mito katika kanisa ili baada ya watoto wachague miongoni mwao wengine wachukue maisha ya ndoa takatifu wengine miito ya utawa mtakatifu wengine miito ya daraja takatifu tunategemea hao watoto na vijana kuendeleza jumuiya na jamii ya baadaye katika kanisa na katika ulimwengu mzima sasa ningependa kumshukuru kwa njia ya kipekee Father John Maina Ndaritu Jonge ya tafadhali Wena Isaya Simunajawo yonu mutu mbaya sana When Father Isaya said that this man is more of a missionary than himself Actually he was right Sometimes I ask him are you really ours? Are you really ours? But he's a great man. He first got his initial formation with St. Patrick's Society. And he is in the diocese. I think they worked on you very well when you are St. Patrick's. Because you are doing very good work. Father Maina mekua hapa kwa miaka sasa kisaidia kazi ya kichungaji. Leo anasema kama yule Simeoni. At last, all powerful master. You gave leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared for all nations a light to enlighten the gentiles and give glory to israel your people and all that is summarized in the ordination of father isaiah father maina santeni san situpigia huyu mtumbaya makofi Tumpatia zile ngemi jameni, zile ngemi nzuri. <laughs> Father Asante sana, Father John Maina is the new parish priest of St. Francis Seven Naivasha Parish. Karibu sana. Mungu kubariki. Na yule padri wa sauti ndogo tafadhali kuja.
Padri wenu anaitwaje? Anaitwa nani? Kufre nani? Nimesikia mtu hapa anasema obongita. Father Kufre Afangide is your new parish priest. Sasa tumpe ngemi zake. Sasa wale ambao mko mnasikia sauti nyororo ya maina wa kiamaina mujipange kwa sauti nzito ya afanyite <laughs> Tunamwambia Mungu ambariki ili afanye kazi yake vizuri katika parokia yetu si ndio Father karibu sana kiamaina karibu Tumpigie makofi <laughs> Nanyi wote na washukuru wale ambao mmepanga hii misa mapadri wa hapa Mapadri wa St. Patrick's wa Kristu wote na wote ambao mmesafiri kutoka mbali kuja sisi Mungu azidi kuwabariki asanteni sana. Asante sana baba Askofu kabla ya baraka za mwisho kutoka kwa baba Askofu ni tangazo kwamba mapadri wote na masista na mabruda mtakuwa na meeting kidogo baada ya baraka za mwisho pale kwa nyumba ya padri all priests and religious brothers and sisters to meet the bishop for only 30 minutes at the tent around the priest house asante sana na baraka za mwisho tusimame wote Bwana awe nanyi awe piana abareke mungu mwenyeze baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu sasa na wakabidhi kwa mikono na mdomo wa mfawidhi wa rais ambaye ako hapa na sisi mfawidhi Mike Getone
Aló, aló. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo, milele na milele amina. Ndugu watazamaji tumekuwa hapa na kuru, jimbo hili na kuru. Tumekuwa kwa sherehe murwa zaidi, sherehe ya ndugu yetu Aisaya ambaye siku ya leo amepokea upadrisho. Tunampongeza kwani hapa Captain TV tunampongeza. Tunampongeza ndugu yetu. Nampongeza ndugu yetu Aisaya kwa hatua hii kubwa aliyoifanya siku ya leo. Na hapa Captain TV tunafuraha kuwa katika jimbo hili siku ya leo. Tumesherekea Wakristo wengi wamesherekea kila mtu hapa ana furaha kuweza kuona kwamba siku hii kwa kweli tunabarikiwa. Tumebarikiwa pamoja na ndugu yetu Esaya wa shirika la St Patrick. St Patrick ni shirika ambalo limedumu hapa katika jimbo hili kwa muda mrefu kama alivyoongea mkuu wa washirika hapa. Tunashukuru wote Nashukuru wa Kristo tunashukuru kwa wale wote ambao wameandaa sherehe hii siku ya leo. Kwa niaba Captain TV hatuna budi ila kurudi studio ili tuendelee na misa nyingine takatifu. Kutoka hapa tunaandamana moja kwa moja mpaka Busia. Kule Busia tutakuwa na misa hapo kesho. Naomba nyinyi wote tujiunge pamoja na sisi katika misa hiyo hapo kesho. Tumekuwa nae Fred katika upande wa sound, tumekuwa nae Chris Odiambo, tumekuwa nae Felix, tumekuwa nae Kennedy, tumekuwa nae Bor. Na fundi wetu wa mitambo Peter Kamau kutoka kule studio. Tunasema asante, asante. Mungu abariki jimbo hili na Mungu ambariki Padri mpya, Padri Isaya. Asante, baraka kwenu hapa nakuru hatuna la siada ila kusema asanteni Mungu awabariki Kapuchin TV your Catholic broadcasting ministry Jumapili hii ya 15 kipindi cha kawaida cha mwaka Kapuchin TV Tutainjilisha na waumini wa Jimbo la Ngong pamoja na Jimbo la Bungoma mtawalia ibada za misa ya Jumapili ya 15 kipindi cha kawaida ni kama ifuatavyo Misa ya kwanza saa mbili na nusu asubuhi Misa ya pili saa mbili na nusu asubuhi moja kwa moja kutoka parokia ya Mama Maria Mtakatifu iliyoko Ungata Rungai katika Jimbo Katoliki la Ngong Baadaye saa tano asubuhi tutainjilisha pamoja na masista wa shirika la neema na huruma ama Benedictine Sisters of Grace and Compassion katika Jimbo la Bungoma ni katika ibada ya ufunguzi na kubarikiwa kwa makao ya huduma kwa wazee kwenye eneo la Mundika katika Jimbo la Bungoma kwa msaada na ukarimu wako Katedrali ya Nakuru hadi parokiani Rongai Ngong na shirikani Mundika Bungoma Injili inasonga mbele. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, kitambulisho katoliki. Kitubio au upatanisho. Sakramenti ya kitubio ndiyo sakramenti ya kuondolea o watu dhambi walizotenda baada ya ubatizo. Sakramenti ya kitubio pia huitwa sakramenti ya upatanisho ipo katika fungu la sakramenti za uponyaji. Kuna sakramenti mbili za uponyaji, kitubio na mpako mtakatifu wa wagonjwa. Dhumuni haswa la sakramenti ya uponyaji ni kuzirejeshea uhai roho zetu pale zinapougua kwa kutenda dhambi. Yesu ndiye tabibu mkuu wa roho zetu naye yu tayari kututibu kila tunapougua. Kupata kitubio kama sikiza tuni yako Tuma neno sikiza likifuata nambari 738102073 kwa nane moja moja. Uh, pia kuwashukuru sana Captain TV. Kap 